My loves, I am going to show you how to make some delicious oven fried chicken. I know there are times you just don't feel like standing in front of a pot of grease with all that oil popping in your face. Well, I'm going to show you how to make some good old oven fried chicken. Simple and quick. Here are our delicious ingredients here for our oven fried chicken. But my loves, before anything, please hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to press that notification bell for weekly updates on all of my recipes. Like and share. Let everybody know about Jackie's cooking, my loves. Yes. So, my loves, we here. We here. No, you know that don't sound right. We here. Anyway, I have some chicken um, quarter legs here that have been cut and washed. Okay. I have some hot sauce. I have some Sazon Completo, complete seasoning. We have some Tony Chercheries Creole seasoning. I also have some, this is like a Maggie, uh, it's in liquid form, but it's like Maggie powder, but in liquid form. I also have some green seasoning here. I have a video for that, okay, which I'll leave in the description box below. Some Italian seasoning, some, um, Oh my God, some garlic powder here, and the last one was, I just went blank, guys. Some chili powder, yes. And we have some mojo marinade. This is so good, because we are going to marinate our chicken in this delicious marinade brine. And I also have some vinegar. This is my spice vinegar, but you could use regular vinegar. But at a later time, I'll show you guys how to make that spicy vinegar. We're going to need some oil, of course. We're going to need some flour. Okay, and we're going to need a little bit of cornstarch, all right? So let's get to it. All right, my love. So my chicken is already clean. Make sure you clean your meat like I always tell y'all because people will talk about you. Now, as you can see, I am making slits into the chicken, okay? And you don't have to, but I do it because it will ensure me that the flavors and the marinade will definitely penetrate into the meat okay a lot of people you know tend to do this you know but you don't have to but I do it so now I'm going to add some of my mojo marinade okay this is such a great marinade especially for meats and stews and so forth okay and I'm going to add my spicy vinegar okay just use regular vinegar okay just use regular vinegar for this okay we're going to use a little bit of that. And the ingredients, my loves, are listed in the description box below. At a later time, guys, I will definitely show you how to make this spicy vinegar or hot pepper sauce. <laughs> All right. And right now, I'm adding my green seasoning. Okay. I'll also leave a link for that below in the description box. Okay. This has so many great flavors and it's the base of a lot of Caribbean cooking. Okay. Now we're going to add some hot sauce, okay, and this is like a nice briny marinade, and I want the chicken to soak up all that delicious brining, okay, and it's also going to tenderize our chicken. We're adding some Italian seasoning, we're adding some chili powder, I didn't have no black pepper. So I'm using chili powder. Don't kill me. Okay. I'm adding some garlic powder. So if you don't have chili powder, guys, use the black pepper. I'm just using the chili powder because I didn't have the black pepper. Okay. So I'm using some of my Tony Chercheries here, my Creole seasoning. I'm using some of my complete seasoning. What I like about this is that the base is not heavily salted, so it has a complete um, of the dried herbs and black pepper and onion powder and garlic powder and so forth. And this is some Maggie um, li in liquid form, chicken flavor in liquid form. So now I'm just taking my clean hands, because I already could hear y'all, my hands are clean and I'm just massaging my chicken in this nice briny marinade okay make sure that you if you have the skin on your chicken make sure you in, make sure that all those flavors and that marinade gets up under that skin okay 
And I'm just using some simple quarter legs. If you want to use chicken breast here, you can. Okay. Um, if you have a whole chicken that you want to cut up to do this, fine. But I'm using quarter legs. I just cut up. Okay. I separated the thighs from the from the chicken leg. Okay. And I kept the skin on, of course. And I'm just lifting that skin because I want to make sure all of that marinade, that brine is going into the flesh of the meat. Okay. Now, after we finish massaging this, I'm going to let this marinate for at least two hours. I mean, of course, the longer it marinates, the better it'll be. But that's why, if you notice in the beginning, I did the slits because that will ensure the marinade will get deep to the bone. Okay, so now I'm taking some plastic wrap, my loves. And I am putting this in the refrigerator for two hours. And now we're taking a pan. I'm just taking a sheet pan. I'm oiling my sheet pan. Okay. And of course, this is where we got our, our chicken on. And we have our oven preheated to 375 degrees. All right. So now I'm taking some flour. And to that flour, guys, I'm going to add some cornstarch. Okay, and I'm also going to add some more garlic powder and um, chili powder. Okay, you don't have to do that because, of course, there's already flavor in the brine itself. But if you want to, knock yourself out, okay? And we're going to mix those dry ingredients together because we are going to dip our chicken into this flour mixture. Okay, I'm using my hands. My hands are clean. Always make sure your hands are clean. Very important. Okay, so now I'm just taking the chicken out of the marinade. Okay, I want to have, I don't want all that marinade to be on the chicken. We're going to pat some of it dry. I'm going to put it on the pan. And I am going to add some more oil all over my chicken. Okay. And I'm going to make sure that the chickens are coated with that oil because that oil is going to help it fry in the oven. Okay, so it's going to help give it that crispiness that we're looking for while it's in the oven. Okay, so I'm just turning it. I want to make sure all the pieces are well coated with that oil. Okay, now we're going to dip our chickens and ensure that they're well covered with that flour mixture. And this is so good, guys, because not only do you have to worry about standing in front of the uh, in front of the stove while the grease is popping all up in your face, and sometimes it'll be too hot for you to stand in front of that in front of the stove making fried chicken. You could do it right in the oven, okay? Okay, so we're just making sure our chicken is nice and coated with that flour mixture. Okay, and we are going to, after set that on our nicely oiled sheet pan. Okay, and pack that flour on that chicken. Okay. We want to make sure that our chicken is nice and coated and that flour sticks on there, okay? And of course, after you finish, you know, putting that flour on there, shake off any excess. Okay. And of course, that brine marinade that we made, my loves, are, is definitely going to not only make your chicken tender because of the acidity, but the flavor is going to be penetrated. That's why I slit the chicken a little bit. You know, put some slits into the meat because, of course, we wanted it to get penetrated. So, of course, that's going into our oven, 375, for about an hour and change or until our chicken is nice and crispy like this. Look at that. That is oven 
fried chicken. Do you hear me? So good, so juicy, delicious. You didn't have to stand in front of the oven, in front of the stove making this. It's so good and juicy and well marinated in that nice brine, my loves. I want you to try this recipe. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, okay? And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Leave your comments below. Give me a like. All right, and guys, I want you all to do something for me. I need you all to eat, love, and pray. Okay.